They are obsessed with big murder cases here in Houston and around the country, researching every fact, following every twist and turn at trial. This group of Houstonians calls themselves the Murderinos, and tonight they are letting us into their world. Channel 2's Brandon Walker explains their unusual hobby and the recent cases that caught their attention. I am a kids yoga instructor. I used to be a DJ. I work in IT for a hospital. Chloe, Jennifer, and Rachel are Houstonians who come from different walks of life, but they all have one thing in common. I'm a murderino. I'm a murderino. I consider myself a murderino. Murderino? What? No murderino? Hmm, I don't know, let's see. Hey, Haley, do you know what a murderino is? That's someone interested and curious in crime. They love, just love, discussing their favorite murder cases. I'll obsess over it. The serial killer ones and everything it has, has, that has to do with crime. On this night, they sit around at a dive coffee shop and bar playing board games. In between shuffling cards, they'll talk murder. Jennifer got hooked on true crime when she was little. Um, whenever my parents would watch America's Most Wanted, it was, we would all, kind of all watch it together. Now, as an adult, she listens to podcasts and researches crime data in her neighborhood for fun. It's curiosity, mostly. <laughs> Other murderinos obsess over the latest Dateline episodes. It was a belated anniversary evening. One of their recent fascinations? Sandra Melgar, the Houston woman convicted of murdering her husband and then staging it to look like a home invasion. Murderinos will comb through hundreds and hundreds of crime scene photos from the case, trying to find out for themselves, was Sandra really the killer? And bring justice to those they believe have been wrongly convicted. Since I was a young child, I've looked up all the crime scene photos like, I was very weird like that. Rachel says she'll pass on blood crime scene shots. I'm a bit squeamish on that, but if there's anything going on about like, a missing person or a cold case file, I am usually curious. The Golden State Killer. Now to a huge break in a cold case, 40 years old. The accused Golden State Killer is waking up behind bars. I tuned in for the live recording of it, and they announced that they had caught the Golden State Killer. So now, the pressing question. Why all the fascination? Seeing why people react to, uh, to other humans that way. It's healthy to have an interest in these things. This is real life, and this happens, and you should be aware of it. And there's nothing wrong. All right, besides podcasts and TV, other murderinos have different, more whimsical outlets, like murder-themed birthday parties and homemade Jeffrey Bomber bath bombs, named for serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. You'll find these photos because we know you want to see them on our website, click2houston.com. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.